What's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Major League Baseball and the Players Union are meeting together. Again, today, 1 p.m., coming up very soon. Let's get a deal done. Now, this is only their sixth negotiation meeting in the last 78 days since the lockout began. I mean, can we just get in a room more frequently? Why does it take so long? I don't understand this. Everything seems to, this has happened to me with uh, Antelope Baseball and looking into our new facility. Everything takes like way longer than you anticipate. But, but this, I feel like this should happen quicker. Like there should be a sense of urgency. Let's get in the room a little bit more frequently or maybe a lot more frequently and let's figure out a way to play baseball this season. And also today is, was supposed to be the first day of spring training workouts, which again makes me sad because I'm here in the freezing cold and I like watching baseball players play in sunny weather. Although today outside, it's actually like 50, it's gonna be 57 degrees outside, which is crazy because it's been freezing cold. But I will say, as a player from the North, when I was a player, there was no better feeling than being locked inside all winter, December, January, and then the beginning of February, with it being like 10 degrees outside, three feet of snow on the ground, and all I could do for baseball was go into an indoor baseball facility and work out. There was no better feeling than getting off the plane and then getting to the field, walking out and seeing green grass and like 70 plus degree weather. There is no better feeling in the world than that. Okay, so let's get into some of the details of what happened last Saturday when Major League Baseball made their proposal to the Players Union. And now today we will get the Players Union's counteroffer. That's the word I'm looking for, counteroffer. We're gonna get their counteroffer today and we'll see what happens. So here's an update on what happened last Saturday. Okay, so just a quick update on what MLB proposed last Saturday to the Players Association and today we should be getting a counter offer. First thing is they're offering a 10% rise in minimum salary to $630,000, no compensation loss for signing free agents, and a universal DH. However, the 2% rise to 214 million in luxury tax threshold and steeper penalties proposed are unpalpable for players union. Okay, so let's break these down real quick. There's been a couple of things, again, that MLB has proposed the 10% rise it's, it is a rise, it gives the players a raise, not as much as uh, the players union wants, but again, we're getting, I guess, a little bit closer to where we wanna be. The players union still wants that to be over 700,000. Um, so I don't, we're not probably gonna get there, but hopefully we're getting a little bit closer. The new compensation is really good for free agents because if a team has to give up a draft pick to sign you, well, it makes it more difficult for that team to sign you. It, it makes your demand much less. And so if there's no compensation and all free agents can just be signed, then it's gonna allow you to sign probably for more money and also just make it easier for you to sign in general. And the Universal DH helps players, it helps them play longer in their career because when you get old and fat and slow and you can't play defense anymore or more, but maybe you can still hit, it still allows you to stay in the league and still sign for uh, potentially a good amount of money. So all good stuff for players. Now the 2% rise in the threshold to the luxury tax is not really close to where the players union wants it. They want it much, much higher. Off the top of my head, I think it was like 245. Um, I have to go back and look at that. Um, and also there's penalties for teams. There's pretty steep penalties for teams that go over that uh, luxury tax threshold. And so players union wants that to be, they want that much, much higher. And so that's obviously gonna be a big sticking point um, that's gonna have to be negotiated. We'll see how much uh, Major League Baseball is willing to uh, rise that. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere close to where the players union wants it, but maybe we can meet somewhere kind of close to the middle. I know it always is just meet in the middle. It's really easy. Um, it's, it's, uh, clearly, it isn't really easy to just meet in the middle and all these things. So um, we'll see what happens there. That'll be the one interesting part, I think, when it comes to these negotiations. Now, the season is set to begin in about six weeks. So we're getting really close to basically needing a deadline for this to happen, or we're going to miss games. So we're looking at like 10 to 14 days or so before we get to that point. March 1st seems to be the point where we need to have a deal in place by March 1st because that gives the players about basically four weeks or so, a little bit more, to get ready for opening day. So if we do not have a deal in place 
by March 1st, uh, then there's a real possibility, a really real possibility of the regular season being delayed in some uh, form. So hopefully we don't get there. So we have basically about two weeks to get in the room, hopefully more frequently than we are uh, currently getting in there. Well, we're not really getting in there at all, but Major League Baseball and the uh, Players Association, let's get in the room more often and let's figure this out. Uh, let's get baseball going again. We all want baseball. I think everybody wants baseball. I know a lot of people say, oh, forget about baseball, like get out of here. If we can get through this and not have any delay and get back to uh, a little bit of spring training at least, I think we'll be okay. And, uh, and I just really want to watch baseball. That's all I really want. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. It's going to happen today at 1 o'clock. I'll give you a, a little insight and fill in on uh, once we hear what happened in these, uh, these private negotiation rooms. But that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former Major League player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.